Hello and welcome to 18 WJTS Inform. In 1840, the town of Ferdinand was founded, and now the celebration begins. It's the 175th anniversary of Ferdinand. I think it's a turquoise centennial is what it's actually called, I believe. I've not even heard that I, think, I mean I think that's pronounced, right. so that's pretty good. <laughs> well, no one's going to know if I mispronounced it. <laughs> Jessica, uh, Lind uh, Jessica Lindar is our guest. She is with the Dubois County Visitor Center, but Jessica is a resident of Ferdinand and a um, on the committee for the Ferdinand 175th. The big event, it's really started this past Sunday with Queen Crowning, uh, and there are some other little events, and, and uh, on uh, tonight there's the homemade wine contest. Mm -hmm. But really, it starts in earnest tomorrow, and it's, it's a significant event. Uh, yes. And I know somebody said something to me the other day. They said, do they really have those big bands coming, <laughs> Pure Prairie League, Love and Spoonful, and Georgia Satellites? I said, yeah, they do. Yes. And they said, how'd they do that? And I said, well, they have great sponsorship. Right. Uh, and they did a, a good thing with Ferdinand Farmers Mutual last year uh, doing the uh, Kentucky Headhunters. They increased, they were able to get more money from the Ferdinand Heimat Fest. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a great, it's going to be one great weekend. It is. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of events happening and everyone's invited to celebrate 175 years for Ferdinand. Now, Ferdinand is not a huge town, so you may be thinking, well, where am I going to park? Really, no matter how far you park, you're, you're not going to have to walk too far to get to the 18th Street Park. Right, yeah. So you may have to park far away, but you'll be able to walk easily to the 18th Street Park. Absolutely. Well, let's start talking about the events that are going on at the Ferdinand 175th, starting with tomorrow. Tomorrow on Thursday, um, there is going to be a magic show at the YMCA. They're sponsoring several events, and that's at 1.30. But um, the whole event really kicks off at 5 o'clock at the opening ceremonies um, in 18th Street Park, weather permitting. Um, I know Lieutenant Governor uh, Sue Alsperman is going to be there speaking, and uh, the president of the town, Ken Seacard, is also going to um, be there to speak. And then the main event is um, honoring all of the the marching rangers the band there so any previous band member um, you're welcome to come and celebrate all the awards and state championships that have been won in the past so it will be a really neat event i think yeah that is neat it kind of brings Ferdinand together and, and the mm -hmm. marching rangers have been one thing a sense of pride for the for the town yes absolutely so after that uh, the beer garden opens at five of course and um, they've got the food and game booths um, and then following at 5.30, there's going to be a lip sync contest taking place on the main stage. And then um, 6 o'clock up at the Ferdinand Community Center, there's going to be the Fashions of Old, which is usually known as the Women of the Bustle. So everyone will be um, dressed up in their old garb, and uh, they're going to have a contest. So that's always um, neat to see at all these centennials and um, big celebrations. Um, 7 o'clock, they have a homebrew contest at the community center, and then um, 8 o'clock on the main stage, Boogie Tunes will be um, playing uh, music. So and having a good time. Yeah. And then it continues on Friday again. Mm -hmm. Friday, 5 o'clock, everything opens back up. The beer garden, um, all the food and game booths will be open up. That's one thing I want to hit on, the food. There's yes. going to be awesome food. Um, so at the, um, the main tent, they're going to have barbecued chicken, fried chicken, barbecue pork chops, and barbecue ribs. Um, and those are all meals with potato and um, green beans for $9. So. Wow, and I think, I think most of that's being cooked by uh, um, Marvin Wire. I'm not sure who's cooking it, but I know it's going to be good. It's, it's that traditional Ferdinand flavor is what that is. Yes, yeah. 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 So that's all the food that's going to be there throughout the weekend. And then um, they're going to have some performances on the main stage. The Vacation Bible School kids are going to perform. And then Steve Mills um, is going to be performing at the Community Center. And then um, a few tournaments that are going to be taking place. The Wiffle Ball Tournament, sponsored by the YMCA. And then there's going to be a fitness competition. That's something new this year. Um, that's going to be happening Friday and Saturday um, down in the park. And then one of the big event on Friday um, is the hot air balloon race. That's going to start at 6.30, around 6.30. And um, 
that's going to be something neat to see. I think they're going to be several balloons, and they're going to the And the balloons are going to be like where the Fernand Folk Fest stage is, in that, yes. in that area, right? Yeah, okay. in that okay. big open field. That's where they're going to be taking off at. Um, Flip and Twist is going to do a performance on the main stage, and then uh, the WBDC Cornhole Tournament is going to take Cornhole Tournament will start at 7 o'clock. Registration is at 6. And by the way, there is an amateur division if you're a kid or don't want to really want to play serious. Uh, there's, that's a fun thing to play as well. Yeah. Uh, and, and then there's music on Friday night. Uh, and, and this is, will this music be on the main stage? Yes, okay. this music will be on the main stage, and it's local Ferdinand bands. Okay, or Ready or Not, or The High Road. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are going to start at 8 o'clock and play, I believe, until um, probably like 11, 1030 or 11, and then they're going to have Boogie Tunes DJ the rest of the night. All right, and then Saturday is really probably the, the biggest day for the Fernand uh, mm -hmm. 175th. Yeah, 8 o'clock starts off with a 5K run walk, and they're also having a kids fun run event, so that's new. So you can bring your kids along, and there's um, special events for them taking place down at the track. Um, okay. So that's happening at 8 o'clock. Uh, there's going to be the car show, which is an annual event at all of the Heim at Fest. That's uh, registration, I think, starts at 9 o'clock. And then awards are at 3.30 um, on the main stage, I believe. Uh, there's going to be a three-on-three -three basketball tournament. The wiffle ball tournament continues. And then at 10 o'clock, the YMCA is going to have um, their volleyball tournament start. Um, there's a bake-off up at the Ferdinand Live. Ferdinand Community Center, I believe, um, at 10 o'clock. And then the the famous barbecue contest starts at 11 o'clock in the park. You do need a button to be able to taste, but um, that's going to be some great food, too. Okay. Actually, the barbecue contest probably is going to start at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning with the well, team. Yeah. <laughs> but for the public, it really is at 11 o'clock, and, yeah. and uh, almost all the teams will be sampling some sort of food uh, that they make. Mm -hmm. Then um, 11 o'clock, the food and game booths open up, and the beer garden opens at noon um, with a keg toss. They're going to have a keg toss this year. I don't think that's something that they I usually have. I think that's have. a new, yeah, that's yeah. new. So that'll be neat to see. Is it empty or full? I hope it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can pick up a full one. <laughs> or toss it, at yeah, least. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, they have a horseshoe tournament at 1 o'clock, and the fitness competition starts at 2. Uh, for some kids' events, they're going to have a bounce house, different games, um, and then they have a Pinewood Derby competition that the, I think the Boy Scouts are putting on. That starts at 3 o'clock right on the field um, in 18th Street Park. And if I remember right, you don't have to have your own Pinewood Derby car. They will supply that if you'd like. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah absolutely. And then 4 o'clock on Saturday, we've got um, Catered Meals by Catering by Meyer and Ferdinand Processing. They're working together, and there's going to be meals up at the Ferdinand Community Center um, in the air condition. So they want to serve people up there from 4 to 7 before um, all the big-name bands come on stage. Um, the Brothers of the Brush Awards, that's at 5 o'clock at the main stage. And then the Kitty Pedal Pole is at 6 o'clock down at the park. I think in the, uh, the big parking lot there, that's where they're going to have the Kitty Pedal Pole. All right. Then the live music, we've got some awesome bands lined up. Uh, 6 o'clock, the East Hill start on the main stage. And then followed by the Georgia Satellites from 7 to 8. Pure Prairie League from 8.30 to 9.30, and then they're going to take a break and have the massive fireworks show, which is uh, sponsored by Best Home Furnishings. Yeah, that and it's, it's you know, I mean, Fernand doesn't normally do a fireworks show, and it is going to be one of the biggest around. It it's is. A big one. Yeah. It's going to be really neat. I know they've recorded something to play along mm -hmm. with it, so that's going to be um, something big to see. And then following the fireworks is um, the headlining band, The Love and Spoonful. So they are playing from 10.15 to 11.15, and then Boogie Tunes will follow into the night until about 1 o'clock until everything dies down. What's, what's interesting about these bands that play, some people go, I, I don't know those names. I don't, but then you say, well, they do this song or this song or this song, and they go, oh, I love that song. That's who does it? Yes. So when you go to, to enjoy them, you're going to really go, you know, you know almost all the music they're going to perform. Right. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Now, there is going to be a drawing for the Quilt and Raffle uh, and those tickets will be sold 
throughout the fest at a special right. booth. Okay, but that quilt and raffle drawing is uh, at 11.15? Yes, okay. after the bands play, before Boogie Tunes um, starts, they're going to the draw draw those names um, for those raffles. Okay, and normally this time of year it's the Ferdinand Heimat Fest, but right. the Ferdinand 175th is taking the place of the Ferdinand Heimat Fest, which is a Thursday, Friday, Saturday event. Since this is the 175th, it's extending into Sunday because it's going to be a great event, and that's the parade. Yeah, the firemen are in charge of the parade this year. It starts at 2 o'clock and begins at the Master Brand um, parking lot and then continues down Main Street all the way um, to Best Home Furnishings, which I think is... I think you turn around where you enter to the YMCA. That's kind of where the cutoff is right. for the parade, and then they, they'll all go back. But uh, I, Do you have any idea how many units? I want to say, the last I heard there was like 85, and that was almost a week and a half ago, so well, I'm sure there's quite a few I more. The last I heard it was 150. Okay. So it just keeps That's growing. Jumped. It's going to be probably the biggest parade uh, in the area, and, you know, well, Ferdinand only does it every so many years. Exactly. So, right. Right. So that starts at 2 o'clock. You can um, set up along Main Street, and it um, sounds like there's going to be a lot of floats and a lot of candy. <laughs> it's be, oh, yeah. Now, the... Uh, <laughs> You'll need a button for certain events. Really, every, you know, the music, we want to point out, is all free. The main yes. stage uh, is set up so that I either you're in the family room or you're just out in the lawn of the uh, softball field, or mm -hmm. you can be in the beer garden to enjoy the music. So no matter where you are, you can enjoy a lot of the items free. Certain things do cost, uh, we'll need a button, like getting into the beer garden, uh, right. which is typical for fests. Exactly. You need a button to get into the beer garden and also to taste for mm -hmm. the barbecue contest. And I think a button's $5 and can be purchased at the event and at um, the local merchant places throughout town. Okay. A lot going on. It's a big, big time in a small town. That's right. All right. Jessica Lindar has been our guest. Jessica is on the committee for the Ferdinand 175th. She is also with the Dubois County Visitor Center. Jessica, thank you for coming in. Anything you want to add? No. Nope. Just come and have a great time in Ferdinand. It's yeah. this weekend. Starts tomorrow in earnest all the way through Sunday with the parade ending at 2 o'clock. This has been WJTS Inform. We're local people watching local people.